Hey guys, I'm Josh Arnold. And I'm Casey Cordero. And we are the guys behind ATVEscape.com mm -hmm. and of course Throttle On Podcast, which we do bi-weekly or, or close enough. And you should su subscribe <laughs> yeah. so you can listen to it. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, shameless plug. But we were invited out to test drive and to learn about this brand new machine sitting behind us. And we're super excited about it. It's a new Yamaha. It's a two-seat, and it's called the Wolverine X2. Mm -hmm. And it brings to the market like everything about the original Wolverine R-Spec that we would improve upon. They have integrated those changes into this new X2. But we've spent the entire day out here learning about it and, and a good four to five hours of driving it. I thought it might be fun to just kind of tell you guys what we thought about this new Yamaha. And I don't even, I'm not sure where we're going to start, but probably starting just, let's start with the way it looks. And I personally think it looks really good. It does. <laughs> uh, it's, I, it's got that neat, edgy Wolverine X4 look, and they've adapted it to this X2 chassis. Yeah. Which I think is awesome. Yeah. It's, it kind of reminds me of one of the older Jeeps in that it's, it's kind of boxy um, and it just has this look when it's going the, down the trail, it's got the shorter wheelbase. Yeah. So it, it just has this look like, hey, I'm gonna conquer anything I can find. And, it, and I know we're not even talking about the, the way it drives yet, but it's, it's very uh, nimble yeah. with that wheelbase and the size of it, the width of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I like the way it looks. I think it's a good second generation of the Wolverine. Yeah, in my mind, the, the word menacing comes to mind when yeah. it's coming at you down the trail. Um, it just, it's got that aggressive front, um, and really that plays into the whole ergonomics, which we'll get into later. But um, you know, the the slope front uh, fascia of this vehicle uh, allows to ha allows the vehicle to have great visibility out the uh, the front. So. Yeah, I, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, the way you can see out the front and in front of what the what is uh, let me stab at that again what's in front of the machine mm -hmm. uh, the visibility is like the best of any side by side we drive yeah it I mean really it's is. that good you can you can see directly in front of the machine even when you're up at a, a bit of an angle mm -hmm. which on something like this it's a recreational vehicle and what most people do with this it has some utility factors to it yeah. like the new dump bed compared to the old R-Spec Wolverine. Which didn't, all, yeah. Which didn't, and a lot of people wanted that. Mm -hmm. Yamaha added that. Um, but it's a recreation vehicle. So you want to be able to tackle the trails, and not just easy ones, you want to tackle the hard ones. Yeah. And man, this thing is set up to do that. Yeah, it's and it really, it starts with that 59 inch width too. Yeah. Um, which gives it that stance that, you know, not only is it legal for 16 inch trails, but I think with this entire chassis, the way that it's built and everything, um, it just handles pretty much any kind of trail just really, really well. Um, you know, and I mean, we can get into the handling if we want right now. But I think we better because I do believe it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Luckily, the camera is covered. <laughs> That's right. So I think we're okay, but it just adds to the, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the personality <adventure. laughs> of this. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, which we did go through some rain and, and that's a great segue too because um, you know not only is the chassis really built for those 60 inch uh, trails but the tire setup that they included on this vehicle um, it is I think it's awesome um, the, the stock tires I don't think I've ever loved stock tires so much and you can really feel that these this machine was developed with those tires you know they just they mold hand in hand together so whether you're breaking hard into a corner um, whether you're accelerating hard out of a corner um, or you're going up a really steep rock climb with like today in brimstone I mean we were going up stuff with a bunch of shale in it and stuff and I mean it just climbs and it doesn't care you throw it in uh, four-wheel drive and you're good to go up any of that stuff yeah so it's it's fun and it doesn't push in the corners no it doesn't which is nice it doesn't and it's so nimble yeah like of all the side-by-sides I've driven I would say this is the most nimble feeling of any of them that is the perfect word for it, really. It's, um, yeah. it's it's you are able to pick different lines that in the little bit you know of course 64 inch mm -hmm. wide side by sides um, you wouldn't be able to. So I and I'm a believer. I think the 60 inch mark is 
the ultimate of the recreational like adventure exploration type side by sides. I think 64 is is keeps you out of places you want to go. Yeah. And this still is super stable, even though it comes in at 59 inches. Mm -hmm. Totally um, agree. So goes hand in hand, and now it's just raining more. Which yeah, is just we're going to keep going. This, which is we hilarious. are going to keep going because we are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Done. So, yeah. I think um, uh, the next thing I want to mention too is the power. Um, the and power that's is one ridiculous of, for yeah. for what it is. The power is ridiculous, and it's one of the best upgrades compared to the Wolverine R spec that um, is you know the previous model to now the X two. Uh, this twin cylinder, eight hundred forty seven cc. Yeah, um, eight eight forty seven. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Power plant. It just it's parallel twin. Um, it, not only is it super quiet, um, which it's it's the quietest engine yeah. in the, in the industry bar none. And you can talk. You know, when you're when you're uh, driver and passenger and you're going 30 miles an hour, you yeah. can still talk going down the trail, which is awesome. Without a, without straining. Right. Like it's it's ridiculous the quiet. And we had helmets on, obviously, as you all should. <laughs> but seriously. Safety first. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's amazing when you mold that new power plant together with Yamaha's Ultramatic transmission. And the, I feel like we need an umbrella. I know, right? Does anyone have an umbrella? <laughs> um, it's all part of the adventure. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, Sorry, you, I totally interrupted. No, you. it's okay. When you when you mold that power plant with Yamaha's transmission and the the few changes that they made to mold it with this um, engine, it's not only smooth when you take off, whether you're in high or low, but I mean from zero to I think I got it up to forty today, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, that's more than what I. Yeah, it just it just smooth it's linear the whole power band transmission everything is just, it's it's so linear and it's really easy to manage um, no matter what speed you're going and i really this is one of my favorite features of this vehicle is that you yeah you see you got all smiley <laughs> over here waiting for it i love how you can leave this vehicle in high and climb any hill you want yeah and you can stop on the hill and it doesn't if care it, yeah if it can get traction again yeah it's it's not an issue the belt stays tight with that ultramatic transmission yep. and but the power is at the very like it's such a torquey engine yeah and the power is at the first quarter acceleration point you know i mean it's yeah. just right at the bottom uh, and it doesn't matter you don't have to give it a lot of gas to get it to go up extremely extremely steep rock filled hills yep. it's ridiculous that's a good word for it. It is pretty ridiculous. It's, and it's yeah. unexpected. It's an unexpected aspect of the way they have it dialed in. Yeah. Ridiculous in a good way. Yeah. In a great way, really. If you couldn't tell from the zone of my yeah, voice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I think the uh, the transmission, um, the, the engine, uh, the drivetrain, for that matter, too. It, I, like, you know, they make a, uh, Yamaha makes a big deal about this machine being squeak free and you yeah. know, very, uh, just very tidied up. You know, um, you don't hear any vibration. Keeping the vibration down, yeah. squeaks and rattles. Yep, exactly. And I was expecting there to be squeaks and rattles, <laughs> and there's not any squeaks and rattles. Even the bed. So they put extra attention into the bed, um, which we can go to that, I guess. Um, you know, sure. and talking about it. But the utility side. Yeah, the utility side of this vehicle is an upgrade over the original Wolverine R spec, and um, the bed. I tried to bounce it off of some of these ditches and stuff here, and it doesn't rattle at all and it, that was unloaded too um, which I'm amazed so, yeah. and it's the functionality is great obviously I mean having a dump bed is huge when you're around the farm you can carry 600 pounds in it you can also so it's it's like 300 pounds more of what yep. the previous version was yeah it's, it's legit right and you can tow 2,000 pounds 2,000 pounds that's a lot for yeah. this vehicle um, so again utility wise um, it's added more uh, to this Wolverine X2 um, than what it had over the previous model, which is awesome. Yeah. So, I think that's kind of all I wanted to mention on the bed. Um, it's one of my main points that I really like about it. Yeah. So, um, what do we want to? Where do we want to go from yeah. here? I think my other point is the interior too. Yeah. I keep saying that? yeah because I totally agree. Yeah. The interior. Uh, if I could put, I think this as the entire machine, but certainly is the interior as well. Mm. I think. This second generation Wolverine and the Wolverine X4 also yes. shows it, it. It raises the bar 
in the industry for refinement. And I think that's the right word for it. Mm -hmm. Like this thing has come of age. It has brought side by sides, uh, kind of a coming of age story where it's a lot more automotive from the build quality and from the way it's put together. Yeah. And the interior shows that big time. Yeah. Um, from the sitting position to the adjustable steering. Uh, of yep. course, the doors, which I am, I hate cargo nets and love doors every side by side. And it's got come with doors. Yeah, and it's got full doors. It's not a half door or a three quarter yeah. door. You know, it actually, and it's easy to open too, which is nice. You got that inside latch. Inside latch. Which works great. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about getting mud in it or anything like that. And that's the big thing is, is my first thought was, well, put the, the latch on the inside that's kind of inconvenient when you're trying to get into it mm -hmm. but the benefit is when it doesn't fill with mud yeah and nobody wants to have to reach out to get out yeah. um and and just have a handful of mud right so i'm all about that now that we've kind of seen we've seen how it was implemented right i'm a fan yeah i'm just waiting for it to be thunder yeah, and lightning. And <laughs> no this is because awesome. we're gonna keep going yeah as long as we can yeah i will um, I will say from my perspective, um, because I, I'm 6'3", um, <laughs> the, the... I wouldn't know anything in, about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. The uh, interior is a little tight. Um, my knees uh, tend to hit the outside. I, I can feel it now, just because we were, we were bouncing along the trails at a pretty good pace today. We were, we, we hammered it. Yeah. It, I mean, like, legitimately rocky hammered it. Test vehicle. Yeah. Don't, no, I'm kidding. It, Drive it like you stole it. Yeah. <laughs> No tires were popped. <laughs> Nothing was hand. Yeah, I'm kidding. But uh, no, from uh, from the inside, it's definitely it's tight if you have long legs. Um, so that would be one of my main. Just it's it's something to be aware of. You know, you go to the dealer, you go try it out. Uh, make sure you fit in it. Slide, slide the seat all the way back on an easy seat slider now. Um, That's right. It's got an adjustable driver's. Yeah. Um, it's just adjustable that, with a lever. That really helps, um, which is nice. Uh, otherwise, ergonomic wise, I really. I really like it. The steering is in a good spot when it's uh, adjusted almost all the way down for me. Um, shifter, gated shifter is awesome. Um, that was a, a big upgrade that I I, uh, I really like. Uh, um, the parking brake is what I meant to say um, is also really easy to adjust, and you got a ton of storage options. So you've got I got this spider floating right in front of me. This is awesome. Um, anyways, no, I'm just taking a ride in the rain apparently. <laughs> so. Uh, you've got the center console, which is great, and it's got some uh, cubbies in there, and then you've also uh, got your traditional glove box that has a new, uh, better handle in it too, um, with plenty of storage. So I like that as well because you've got two little compartments. Yeah. There. So anything else on the interior that you, you find that you and, and I just want to to your tight comment. Yeah. Uh, for me being shorter, of course I didn't notice any of that. I'm not really tight in there. I'm really comfortable. Okay. And I like the fact that it surrounds you in such a way that you feel planted in there, even though the seats aren't super contoured. Yeah, this is awesome. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's laughing at us right now, yep. which is great. <laughs> well, but from the well, passenger standpoint, it's the same as well. Um, I did ride passenger once, and um, I, did I was too super for, comfortable. Yeah. For a few minutes. Uh, it's It's got plenty of room on that side um, for that, but I think it's just because when you're on the throttle and the brake, um, you're, you know, you're scratching up a little bit. Um, I will say to lifting my foot up for to hit the throttle, it, it gets tiresome to some extent. I think once you uh, drive it enough, it's not going to be a big deal. So um, yeah, and get used to that. And see, I don't have any problem with that. Yeah, and it's uh, <laughs> I'm bending my leg. And, <laughs> like really, I just I never yeah. I haven't noticed it on this one or the X4. Okay. And 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 you notice that, and it's definitely obviously the height. I have like four foot legs. Yeah, coming. plays a big. Um, plays a big part in that yeah oh uh, splash protection on this is, yes. is really good even with 27 inch aftermarket tires on it yep uh, i got very little mud thrown certainly not thrown on my lower half but even my outside arm got a little bit but really not much of anything what would you say that uh that one mud hole we went through mm -hmm. was, i don't think it was two feet deep but it was probably a good 16 18 inches maybe it was probably every i would think it was it was I mean, pushing two feet. Yeah, it, I really do. It barely, barely got any mud on the inside. Like there was, there was some, but I mean, I could have, you know, 
I could have definitely worn tennis shoes and been fine. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it didn't. It didn't come in the cab. Yeah, even my, though it was past the doors. Yeah, my know. boots were were totally clear. Um, so I, that was impressive too, and and that and obviously the traction going through it. Um, again, I'm impressed with the tires. You know, and stuff, I just so. I just remembered something I wanted to add to. Um, engine braking on this thing is oh, ridiculous. Yeah. It's yeah. it's Yamaha is always excellent. For those of you who have not driven a Yamaha, like it's if all of the power steering in the entire industry could be as good as um, power steering, engine braking, engine braking, and power steering for that yeah. matter, could be as dialed in as the Yamaha. I'd be thrilled. Yeah. Um, you were mentioning but, power steering. We yeah. did have a conversation about that with the engineers because the, we'd we'd almost like it to be a little bit quicker. The racking, yeah. um, the rack from full turn to full turn, we wish it could be changed up a little bit so right. you have less motion on the wheel right. to how far the tires turn. Yeah. You know? When you're railing um, it through the corners, it's it takes a little too much effort um, when you're really going fast. But at the end of the day, uh, the feel is great and the weighting of the power stream is awesome. So that, I don't think that's an issue. Yeah, um, the amount the, of assist I don't think is an issue yeah. at all. Yeah, just um, a matter of the speed and stuff. And it's a super easy one to drive. It yeah. firms up a little bit as you go faster, but yeah. I mean, again, we hammered it uh, over extremely rough terrain at higher speeds, and not once did I get any kind of like scare that I was gonna the trail was going this way and I was gonna yeah. wind up going that way. Yeah, I mean, it, it really does great with that. Again, that goes back to the, the handling that we mentioned, and it doesn't push in corners. Um, I was amazed too, like some of these trees, the trails literally wrap around the trees. Um, the turning radius is mm-hmm. awesome on this vehicle. It's it, it's the tightest of anything I've ever yeah. driven. Yeah. I it mean, just, you can, it just walks itself yeah. around turns that you like swing out wide thinking, hey, I've, I need the space. Yeah. And you don't need the space at all. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and I will say too, this has less travel than the yep. original Wolverine R spec. It has 8.7 in the front and 8.9 in the rear. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, even though it's less travel, it feels a lot sturdier. Uh, or um, what's the right word? Not sturdier, but it feels more comfortable. It, yeah. And and uh, even in off camber stuff, like it, it's it's super. Uh, I'm gonna have to say it again. It's yeah. super good. Yeah, I would. Um, I would definitely uh, adjust because on the SE models, uh, they have oh, yeah. the fully adjustable suspension on the KYB shocks. Um, so if we had more time, I would adjust them a little bit more to see if I could get a little bit more of the low speed. Uh, I would turn the low speed compression down just a little bit to see if I could get that kind of slower, um, just uh, compliance, you know, going through the, whoop, the bumps. I'm just going to say whoops, but we're not going through whoops today. There were no um, whoops. Yeah, no, and that's okay. That's good. Um, but, you know, I just, I'd like to get a little bit more of that compliance when you're going over the little rocks and that kind of stuff. It would smooth out the ride a little, but other than that, um, like you said, I think uh, it's really, it, the overall setup is great. The fact that you can adjust it is even better. Uh, not that most people will, and from a stock standpoint, you're not going to have to, because that's where we wrote it, was at the stock settings yeah. today, and they were great. Um, dialing it in, the cool part is you can do that, you know, and so that's my, my biggest takeaway with suspension is you have the option, which is always good, you know. Um, because we're literally getting soaking wet now, yeah. I, I know we kind of need to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, if I again, if I could go back and use one word, I would say refined. Mm-hmm. I love. I really am a fan of this machine. Yeah. I think the X2 does deal with the issues that the original Wolverine R spec had that people were asking to be changed. Mm-hmm. I would highly recommend if you're in the market for a 2C, you ought to go sit in this thing and you yeah. ideally drive it. Yeah. I think you'll be amazed when you look at it, it drives, it doesn't, it drives, I, I would say better than when you just look at it. Yeah. And and you'll it's, drive it's it and you'll go, yeah. wow, an engine can be quiet. And yeah. wow, a suspension can be really good on a recreational machine mm-hmm. from the factory. And wow, the torque is ridiculous. Yep. You know, and so I would highly recommend you check it out. Yep. And we'll do a full video review here in the next probably couple of months. Uh, 
on this team. thing. But this kind of gives you the initial, our initial thoughts after putting four or five hours on it. I feel like we have a pretty good grasp yeah. on what's good. A couple things that we might change or dial in for six yeah. three or five six <laughs> on a good day. Um, it's it's but, personal. Yeah, <laughs> preference. On and and we'll write up with a full review. If you guys enjoy watching the video here, we do the Throttle On podcast which you can find anywhere you find podcasts. Look us up, Throttle On Podcast, or check out ThrottleOnPodcast.com. Mm -hmm. And um, we talk about all sorts of things. We'll go, we will absolutely deep dive when it's not raining into this. <laughs> Probably by the time you watch this video, we've already talked about it. Kind so, of disappointed all the mud's off. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my, my legs are completely soaked now. Yeah. It's a little yeah. awkward. Yeah. Just going to throw that out. Thanks so, for watching, guys. Yeah. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the trail soon. You bet.